Hey, what's up guys? It's JC. Welcome back to the YouTube page. I appreciate anybody tuning in. If you are not subscribed, do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. The topic I want to discuss today is what is really going on. Do you guys remember when Marlon Jackson tried to steal the show on the tour? <laughs> So in 1984, the Jackson brothers went on tour, the Victory Tour, and this is the first and only time that all six brothers performed on stage together, but there is a lot of controversy, a lot of drama going on behind the scenes. We're going to discuss that. I'm going to let you know what I think. Let me know what you think down in the comments. But first, we're going to check out the most talked about video from the tour, and that's Marlon Jackson. So the beat breaks down and Marlon just starts getting into his own groove and the brothers just start looking at him. Killer boots, man. So when I first seen this video, I wasn't sure if it was staged or not just because of the animosity between the brothers and my fellow YouTubers hit me up and said this is a part of the show. I try to tag all you guys at the bottom. And just the brothers' expressions is what made me think it was real because they're just looking at Marlon like, bro, what are you doing? If you guys have other videos of Marlon doing this on tour, put the links down in the comments. And it's funny, Michael comes up to him like, man, let me show you how it's done. It's just hard to believe that this was already 40 years ago. They did this tour in 1984. Crazy. And this was the only tour that the brothers went on. They did the Michael Jackson reunion in 2001, the 30th anniversary, but that was just a concert, not a tour. I love Michael Jackson growing up. I wanted to dance like Michael Jackson, and the whole time I was dancing like Marlon Jackson. But hey, props to Marlon. If you've seen the American Dream movie in the 90s, all those ass whoopers from Papa Joe, Marlon finally got his steps right. So yes, Marlon dancing like that was a part of the show, but you know what wasn't a part of the show? The drama going on behind the scenes. The brothers did not want to talk to each other. They were staying in separate hotel rooms. According to Marlon, Michael didn't want to show up to rehearsals. He didn't want to perform certain songs. A lot of people felt like this was Michael's tour because of the success of Thriller. The brothers were in financial stress and Michael wasn't. So it was like, was he helping the brothers to make money? Was this tour a financial success? Was it a financial disaster? They walked away with some money, but a lot of people were in debt. Promoters were mad. So what was going on? Let me know what you think down in the comments. They were scheduled to go extend the tour to 1985, but in December, Michael said, this is it. This is the end of the tour. Went back to doing his own thing, and the brothers did not talk to each other. I don't know if you guys know this, but Jermaine Jackson did a Michael Jackson diss track. And I seen an interview with Jermaine and he said this was the only way he could get a reply or a response from Michael. With all that being said, 2025, the Michael Jackson biopic starring his nephew, Jafar Jackson. If you're not familiar with Jafar Jackson, go check out his Christmas performance with his dad, Jermaine. I think you will be amazed by that. Let me know down in the comments, do you like Jafar Jackson playing Michael Jackson? Yes or no? And if you could have somebody else play Michael Jackson, who would it be? Let me know down in the comments. Peace.